Good day, wrestling fans, and thanks for tuning in here to NWA Smoky Mountain Television. I'm your host, Matt Rhodes, and tonight, ladies and gentlemen, a big event coming to the Mountain Empire and to Kingsport, Tennessee at the legendary Kingsport Civic Auditorium, fans, 8 p.m. is the bell time. The event being entitled Tradition Rises, ladies and gentlemen. What an action-packed card from top to bottom, including the main event. We'll have more details on that card, including talking about your main event matches that take place tonight, later on in the program. Ladies and gentlemen, it was from the ashes of chaos that Tradition Rises tonight. And what I'm talking about, the ashes of chaos, is what happened last month at Fire on the Mountain in Kingsport, Tennessee. And if you have a short memory or if you've been living under a rock and you're a Smoky Mountain fan, we're going to show you just exactly what took place that was so chaotic and that had the wrestling world a buzz. <laughs> Douglas gets an elbow patch off! This may be it. It may be time for business to pick up, Dylan. Come on, Chip. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 minutes have passed in the contest. 20 minutes have passed. 40 minutes remain. Roaring elbow. Yeah! Oh! He hit it! Wait a minute! Here comes Tony Gazina! Darren Dean! They pull Smoke Carver out of the ring! What are they doing? Well, oh, come on, they disqualify him! The bell's been rung! Oh, for Christ's sake! Oh, there's Davey from behind! They just throw the ref out of the ring! Oh, for God's sakes! Come on, guys! They have called this is too much. Jeremy tonight, and they have ruined the outcome of this match. We were this close to seeing a new World Junior Heavyweight Champion crown. Kevin Douglas was trying to escape. Kazina grabs him. Oh! To Kazina, to a Kevin Douglas by Kazina. Tony, Davy Richards just pummeling the fire. Oh no! And a Chase Owens here. This is not good at all, Matt. No, it ain't. I tell you what, this wild scene, indeed. Oh. Dylan Sizemore just takes Come off. Come here, cameraman. Come here, Andy. Dylan Sizemore just took off. He runs. He's got. You want your world champion? You want to buy a belt? Huh? I will. My goodness, what a wild scene. They throw a trash can in the ring. Come on, guys. Where did, where did Dylan go? You want to buy a title? Huh? They throw it in the trash. Seriously? Seriously, come on. Oh no, speechless here. They just throw the World Junior Heavyweight title in the trash. Yeah, I'm gonna take your team on. Respect me. Hold this here. Hold this here. Hold this here. Hold this here. Look at this. Oh my God. Hard to watch. This is hard to watch. Chaotic scene. It was indeed wrestling fans at the hands of Davey Richards and wrestling's most wanted pummeling down Chase Owens last month at fire on the mountain. Chase Owens is bound to determined to get another shot at the World Junior Heavyweight title. And it begins tonight as he faces former World Junior Heavyweight Champion. He made the challenge to any former World Junior Heavyweight Champion and former TNA and current Ring Cock King star Jimmy Rave accepted the challenge. It's Chase Owens, Jimmy Rave one-on-one. -on -one. And when you think of Jimmy Rave and some of the great rivalries he's had down through the years in his career with great feuds with the likes of WWE Champion CM Punk, Brian Danielson, AJ Styles, to name a few, Jimmy Rave has pinned these three men and a lot more guys you see on Monday, Thursday, and Friday nights on national television. Chase Owens has a chance tonight to get back into the title hunt for the World Junior Heavyweight title with Chase, Chase's newly won Mountain Empire title on the line. Jimmy Rave, Chase Owens tonight. King Sports Civic Auditorium, Tradition Rises, 8 p.m. bell time. That's your main event for the Mountain Empire title. Fans will have more news on Tradition Rises right after the break.
mention nonprofit organizations, sports clubs, civic groups, schools, or anyone looking to raise funds for your organization. The stars of the National Wrestling Alliance are here to put money in your pocket. Bring us in for your next fundraiser and get the funds you need for your organization on the night of the event without wait. For more information, you can email the office at office at nwasmokymountain.com or you can call the office at area code 423-773-5449. Looking for the hottest wrestling on the net? NWA Smoky Mountain is here for you. Get all the latest info on upcoming events, news, NWA merchandise, and much more on our website at nwasmokymountain.com. Also check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash NWA Smoky Mountain. And also follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash NWA Smoky switch there and here he comes big right hand off the ropes ropes held up big clothesline here comes the dragon oh he whoa wow, wow. Clothesline. nearly took tony gibbons head off right there oh big rights knocks on fire conley still down on the knee and conley gonna go after the big man he's weakened down so bad oh oh man nearly went through the roof here at the civic auditorium Oh, big forearm now on the boot to the midsection. Tony Gibbons quickly recovers. He threw him over the top rope. He threw him over the top. That should Brandon be Cox is looking at him. It's got he's gonna be able to squat. Rob Knight's over here. Rob Knight's got it. It. He's it. the it. He saw it. He's ringing the bell. That's a disqualification. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has ended this contest. Due to Tony Gibbons throwing Keith Knox over the top rope. What's going on here? Your winner via disqualification. The Party Army. The Party Army, the winner via disqualification. They're still going in the ring. Here's Jeff Conley with the finisher. Knox is recovered. Tony rolls out of the ring. The Illuminati has got their self disqualified here. Throwing him over the top rope. And there you see their hands raised in victory. But like I said earlier, the titles cannot change hands on a disqualification. Wrestling fans, we have some big events coming up here in the Mountain Empire NWA Smoky Mountain Pro Wrestling Federation on tour. And here at this time to tell you more about a big event coming to Rogersville on Saturday night, September the 22nd, is the voice of the Pro Wrestling Federation in his casual attire. Come on in here, Dylan Sizemore, looking sharp today, but uh, uh, not as not. But as looking, sharp. looking at the big picture at hand, the 22nd September, the sixth anniversary of the Pro Wrestling Federation uh, promotion you've been a part of pretty much since day one. The 22nd finale, big event. Tell these great fans what's going on that night. It's the sixth anniversary of the PWF. I've been with the PWF since the first finale. So it's five years for me as a part of the promotion and what a five years it's been. And we're celebrating that on the 22nd in Rogersville. The main event, as we all know, it's a match with a lot on the line as far as the Mountain Empire wrestling scene goes. The Illuminati, Chris Richards and Tony Givens are putting up their NWA Tennessee tag titles. Josh Crawford putting up his PWF heavyweight title. Johnny Knievel putting up his television title. It's four titles in one match with everything on the line really because it's really the stroke of power as far as anything goes in the area. We've also got uh, former partners colliding. Uh, we saw the last time we were in Rogersville, Jay Shaft and Chris Graves had a little falling out amongst themselves. They're in singles action at the finale. A feud nearly a year long. You've talked about it. The tables match. Mountain Goat Jack and Daniel Mulligan, those two hillbillies, sure know how to brawl. And that's what they're going to do in a match where the only way to win is to put your opponent through a table. And we've got those three matches. We've got a lot of other big matches coming. We've got the NWA Smoky Mountain title on the line. Jason Kincaid, Skylar Cruz, Menace, and Thorne. I'm excited for that one. It's just a big night in Rogersville on the 22nd, the finale. If you've never been down to Rogers before, ladies and gentlemen, make, make this night the night that you come down and check out the PWF as they celebrate their sixth anniversary. That's the Rogersville National Guard Armory in Dillon. I'll tell you what, we got a big event coming tonight. The King Sports Civic Auditorium. All the stars are going to be on hand. We're going to roll it out tonight. The red carpet, if you will, for a big night in King Sport as tradition rises from the ashes of chaos, as the line has been said. But it was such a chaotic experience last time we were in King Sport. This time, the NWA standard is what's going to be showcased. Tradition rises. And you think about NWA, you think about 
tradition of some of the big matches tonight. Chase Owens versus Jimmy Rave, Mountain Empire title on the line. And those Tennessee Tag Team titles that are on the line in your main event in Rogersville, there could be a big monkey wrench thrown into that as Tony Givens, Chris Richards face off against the party army of Keith Knox and Jeff Conley. And uh, we have many, many more great matches. Josh Crawford, one of the you know, frontline leaders of the Pro Wrestling Federation in competition tonight. He defends the PWF title against Daniel Mulligan. I mean, a rematch from when Mulligan lost the title. That's a big night, plus a lot more action tonight in Kingsport. We'll run down the rest of the card here in just a moment. But fans, don't forget to come out and check out the PWS finale on Saturday night, September the 22nd. But we hope to see you tonight in Kingsport, Tennessee for Tradition Rises, 8 p.m. is the bell time. Fans, we're back with more great Smoky Mountain wrestling action in a moment. Nonprofit organizations, sports clubs, civic groups, schools, or anyone looking to raise funds for your organization. The stars of the National Wrestling Alliance are here to put money in your pocket. Bring us in for your next fundraiser and get the funds you need for your organization on the night of the event without wait. For more information, you can email the office at office at nwasmokymountain.com or you can call the office at area code 423. 423- 
Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, he is wrestling out of Sand Valley, the cold Alex Winters. Not a warm reception for the man who's defending his contender's ring spot against the man about ready to walk out of the curtain here tonight. The Elizabeth and Tennessee native, Cody Isis, and there he is. And his opponent wrestling out of Carter County. This is the long gun, Cody Isis. Big one-on-one -on -one match up here. Two men that know each other very well. They've spent many a time over the years. Alex Winters, Cody Isis, a lot on the line here. That contender brings spot. Cody Isis knock him off here. Gets himself in that contender ring. Get his shot in line here for a Smoky Mountain title shot. For a shot of the wrestling extraordinaire Sigmund. Big implications here in this matchup. So we're rejoined by Dylan Sizemore for this matchup. Alex Winters jawing with the crowd just a hair here tonight. It's really nothing new for Alex Winters. No, to be Alex fair. Winters is definitely the king of one-liners here in the Civic Hunter with some of these fans. Brandon Cox asks if both men are ready. Here we go. The bell rings. We're underway with this big one-on-one -on -one matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Cody Isis, Alex Winters, the contenders ring spot on the line. They square off. Ready to lock up here. And looks like there's going to be a little bit more time to talk. You know, really, both of these men are on a comeback trail to wrestling in this area after taking breaks. One, uh, Alex Winters, a little bit more sizable than Cody Isis, but both men are working their way back into that regular wrestling schedule. Carter and Elbow lock up here. Cody Isis, the bigger of the two men. Alex Winters, though, is a very strong individual himself. Oh, that wasn't a necessary a clean break. Sends Alex Winters head over heels. <laughs> Do a side headlock. Cody Isis won't mess around with you. You want to know a country-sized fight, you've got Cody Isis in the ring. Shoulder tackle cover. Cody going for the stealth win, trying to get out of here. Headlock takeover. Cody Isis trying to put this one away early. Head back to Carter County with a victory tonight. Yeah, it may be the best strategy for Cody Isis because as we've seen Alex Winters, he can wrestle those longer matches. He has a bit more, you would uh, think he has a bit more of a stamina advantage over Cody Isis. The longer it goes, the better in favor of Alex Winters it turns to. Sends him into the corner here. Alex Winters into the buckle hard. Cody Isis! With some athleticism there. Yeah, he's been working out. Isis off the ropes for maybe a big knee drop. And Alex Winters here, and early on in this matchup, in a bad predicament. We don't see this very often in Alex. He's usually in control of the match from the bell all the way through. Alex Winters, a very accomplished veteran here in the NWA Smoky Mountain, the only four-time national heavyweight champion in the CWA Smoky Mountain wrestling history here in this area. The only man to hold that title. That title is now the NWA Mountain Empire title. Held by the wrestling extraordinaire Sigmund. The winner of this match could get a shot at Sigmund because they will hold a contender's ring spot. That spot is currently held by Alex Winters, maybe going for a pile driver or something here. I'll tell you what, Alex Winters blocked that. It was a smart move. That could have been the end of the match. Alex in control here back at the side headlock. Simple wrestling hold, though, wearing Cody Isis down. Cody with a great counter here, backs him into the corner. It's the best counter when you're in the ring. Sometimes go to the ropes, go to the corner. You got five seconds to break it. Now Cody gets the upper hand, but reversed. Alex Winters sends Cody into the turnbuckle. Puts the elbow up. Alex wasted too much time. Sands him up and a suplex. Power game of Cody Isis showing through here. Patented Cody Isis with a spinning leg drop. One, two, and a near fall. The hand nearly goes down for three. Cody Isis is on his A game tonight. He is wanting to claim that spot and become a top contender, and there's an eye rake. Alex Winters trying to wear Isis down yet again, make it a little bit more of an easier match for him as the time progresses. Take the crowd out of Cody Isis' corner. 
They pretty much done that here in this matchup. Up and over. Oh, and a shot to the kidneys. And a drop kick to the back. Nasty move. There's Cody Ice is crashes to the outside of the ring. Alex Winters taking a little bit too much time here. you got to wonder uh -oh. if, if Alex drawing Winters, to the... He's singling. He wants to do a dive. Do you think he's taking a little bit too much oh, time here? No, he's like, he, may, he may land on his head. <laughs> Alex Winters, he's playing to the crit. Hey, well, no surprise there. Ladies and gentlemen, five minutes have passed. Five minutes have passed. As they make their way here right in your living room pretty much. There's a great shot there. <laughs> Both oh. men on the outside of the ring now. Big uppercut there. Neither man in this contest is afraid of a brawl, that's for sure. Yeah, you can't win this match on the floor, though. And this has got title shot implications. Nice move there, slingshotting up and over. Cover. Isis is real close to the ropes. It kicks out instead. Rolls him in the center of the ring. That's a smart move. You better count, Brandon. As a, it was a miss up by the referee. That could have been a three count. Alex Winters may have a grip with the NWA Smoky Mountain officials after this one. A very noticeable delay there. I don't know if Brandon got caught up in the ring mat or something, but it was a delay that saved Cody Isis for the moment. But now he finds himself here in this big submission sleeper type hold here on the mat. Now he goes down, all the way down the mat. It may be time for the referee to check in. The referee's in great position to see right here. Shut up. In a great spot, but Cody Isis may be in no man's land. He may be in La La Land. Showing a few signs of life. He may be dreaming about a Brutus right now. <laughs> Cody Isis needs to get out of this hold. Back up to a vertical base he needs to be, and there he is. And that's a great opportunity to fight out. There you see the right hands. Oh, he grabs the tights. We almost have a full moon over Kingsport with that one. That's, that's, believe me, that's something not many fans want to pay to see. Definitely not. <laughs> not look Cody Isis to death, but definitely not. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, Alex Winters now, no all jokes aside, this is the second of serious turn. Cody Isis now fighting for his life here in the ring. A loss here would definitely move him at the bottom of the barrel. Close line. And now he knows what's on the line, and he knows he's got a fight. Big scoop slam here. And Cody may be going for Air Isis. All the way up to the middle rope. Here it is, the big patented fist drop by Cody Isis. We've seen that many a times in his career. Cover, hooks the leg, and a two right there by Cody Isis. Alex Winters kicking out, and Alex going for the retreat of the ropes. May not be a good move if Cody hits this. Oh, man. Big shoulder thrust. Winners up and over. Sunset flip back into the ring. Cody grabs the arm. There you go. He had that well scouted. Uh-oh. The ice has dropped. Oh, wow. Makes the end to Gary. Catches the arm. Alex Winters, he may have stumbled there. Oh, big knee to the side of the head. And that may be the knockout blow that it takes. One, two, three. Cody Ice is down. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the contest, the cold, Alex Winters. What a great matchup there. Alex Winters retaining his spot in this contender's ring to the side for As I tell you what, we've seen some great action so far. There you see it in the ring, Alex Winters. Fans, welcome you back here to Smoky Mountain Television. Tonight's the big night in Kingsport, Tennessee. It's tradition rises. Ladies and gentlemen, six big matches are on the card. Let's talk about your main event first, ladies and gentlemen. It's Chase Owens putting his newly won NWA Mountain Empire title on the line against former TNA and current Ring Cock King star Jimmy Rave tonight in Kingsport, Tennessee. The Tennessee Tag Team titles are on the line in a huge tag team contest. We'll see Chris Richards teaming up with Tony the Dragon Givens, the Illuminati, to take on the party army of Jeff Conley and Keith Knox tonight. And if the Illuminati gets disqualified, they will lose the tag team titles. That coming from where Tony Givens tossed Keith Knox over the top rope at Fire on the Mountain. If the Illuminati gets DQ'd, then they lose the titles tonight. 
in King Sport. The PWF Television Champion Johnny Knievel is in the house tonight and he'll take on a man that he pinned to capture that television title and that is West Virginia's Matt Connor tonight. Big one-on-one -on -one matchup. Also we'll have Alex Winters, a man who just recently broke inside the contender's ring. He will face off tonight against Greenville, Tennessee's own Thorn in a big one-on-one -on -one matchup. Tonight, we'll also see Zach Vincent in action. All some of your favorite stars of the NWA Smoky Mountain. Josh Crawford defends the PWF heavyweight title against Daniel Mulligan. And that's a big deal going into the finale just a couple of weeks down the road. And be there at 745 Eastern Time Wrestling fans for a bonus match just for the fans in attendance live. And I understand there's going to be some big names in that bonus match tonight. So you want to be there early to check that out. 745 just for the fans in attendance at the legendary King Sports Civic Auditorium. From the ashes of chaos, tradition rises tonight. We think about what happened one month ago. Or we think about what will happen tonight. And that will be a traditional great wrestling card that the NWA has put on time and time again. And you wrestling fans trust that the NWA Smoky Mountain will provide you with the best in family wrestling action tonight in King Sport, Tennessee. No Davey Richards, no wrestling's most wanted to offend and upset any of the fans tonight. It's tradition rises and a lot of things on the line in the main event and throughout our matches tonight. It's gonna to be a great night of wrestling action. Doors open at 7.15. Wrestling action gets kicked off at 7.45, and Tradition Rises itself begins at 8, 8 p.m. bell time tonight in Kingsport. I want to say thanks for joining us here today on NWA Smoky Mountain TV. We hope to see you back here next week, but we hope to see you before then by seeing you tonight in Kingsport for Tradition Rises. I'm Matt Rhodes. So long for now.